the design for a large infrared space telescope traces back decades. In the United States, the Space Infrared Telescope Facility, later called Spitzer Space Telescope, was planned while the Space Shuttle was still in development, and the potential for infrared astronomy was acknowledged at that time. Compared to ground telescopes, space observatories were free from atmospheric absorptions of infrared light. Space observatories opened up a whole new sky for astronomers. Ground-based telescopes must look through Earth's atmosphere, which is opaque in many infrared bands. Even where the atmosphere is transparent, many of the target chemical compounds such as water, carbon dioxide, and methane also exist in Earth's atmosphere, vastly complicating analysis. The James Webb Space Telescope is a space telescope designed primarily to conduct infrared astronomy. The United States National Aeronautic and Space Administration NASA, led development of the telescope in collaboration with the European Space Agency and the Canadian Space Agency. The James Webb Telescope was launched on the 25th of December 2021 on the European Space Agency rocket known as Ariane 5 from Kaurau, French Guinea and is intended to succeed the Hubble Space Telescope as NASA's flagship mission in astrophysics. The telescope is named after James Edwin Webb, who was the administrator of NASA from 1961 to 1968 during the Mercury Project, which was the first human space flight program of the United States, running from 1958 through 1963, and also the Gemini Project, which was NASA's second human space flight program, conducted between Project Mercury and much of the Apollo programs. With greatly improved infrared resolution and sensitivity, the James Webb Telescope will view objects that are too old and distant for Hubble Telescope, up to 100 times fainter. This is expected to enable a broad range of investigations across the field of astronomy and cosmology, such as observation of the first stars and the formation of the first galaxies, as well as detailed atmospheric characterization of potentially habitable exoplanets. The James Webb Telescope's primary mirror, the Optical Telescope Element OTE, consists of 18 hexagonal mirror segments made of gold-plated beryllium, which combine to create a 6.5-meter diameter mirror compared to Hubble's 2.4-meter mirror. This gives the new James Webb Telescope a light collecting area of about 6.25 times as large as Hubble's, unlike Hubble which observes in the near ultraviolet, visible and near infrared of 0.1 to 1.0 micron. James Webb Telescope will observe in a lower frequency range, from long wavelength visible light through mid-infrared of 0.6 to 28.3 microns. To make observations in the infrared spectrum, James Webb must be kept under minus 223.2 degrees Celsius or 369.7 Fahrenheit. Otherwise, infrared radiation from the telescope itself would overwhelm its instruments. It therefore uses a large sun shield to block light and heat from the sun and the earth, and its position near the sun-earth's Lagrange point keeps all three bodies on the same side of the spacecraft at all times. James Webb halo orbit around the Lagrange point avoids the shadow of the earth and moon, maintaining a constant environment for the sun shield and solar arrays. The shielding maintains a stable temperature for the structures on the dark side, which is critical to maintaining precise alignment of the primary mirror segments in space. The five-layer sun shield, each layer as thin as a human hair, is constructed from capton, which is a polyamide film, with membranes specially coated with aluminum on both sides, and a layer of doped silicon on the sun-facing side of the two hottest layers to reflect the sun's heat back to space. The sun shield was designed to be folded 12 times so that it fits within the Ariane 5 rocket payload. James Webb is not intended to be serviced in space, as was done for Hubble Telescope. A crude mission to repair and upgrade the James Webb Observatory would not currently be possible. And according to NASA Associate Administrator Thomas Zobuchen, despite best efforts, an unmanned remote mission was found to be beyond current technology at the time James Webb Telescope was designed. Since the successful launch of the James Webb Telescope, NASA have stated that limited accommodation was made to facilitate future servicing missions. This included precise guidance markers in the form of crosses on the surface of James Webb for use by remote servicing missions, as well as refillable fuel tanks, removable heat protectors, and accessible attachment points. The Space Telescope Science Institute in Baltimore, Maryland, on the Homewood campus of John Hopkins University, was selected as the Science and Operation Center for the James Webb Telescope, with an initial budget of 162.2 million US dollars, intended to support operations through the first year after launch. In this capacity, 
Space Telescope Science Institute will be responsible for the scientific operation of the telescope and delivery of data products to the astronomical community. Data will be transmitted from James Webb Telescope to the ground via the NASA Deep Space Network, processed and calibrated at the Space Telescope Science Institute, and then distributed online to astronomers worldwide. Similar to how Hubble was operated, anyone anywhere in the world will be allowed to submit proposals for observations. Each year, several committees of astronomers will peer review the submitted proposals to select the projects to observe in the coming year. The authors of the chosen proposals will typically have one year of private access to the new observations, after which the data will become publicly available for download by anyone from the online archive at the Space Telescope Science Institute. The James Webb Space Telescope has four key goals. The first goal is to search for light from the first stars and galaxies that formed in the universe after the Big Bang. The second goal is to study galaxy formations and evolution. The third goal of the James Webb Telescope is to understand star formation and planet formation. And the fourth goal is to study planetary systems and the origin of life. These goals can be accomplished more effectively by observation in near-infrared light rather than light in the visible spectrum. For this reason, James Webb Telescope's instruments we will not measure visible or ultraviolet light like the Hubble telescope, but will have a much greater capacity to perform infrared astronomy.